Want to know how to make extra money for the holiday? Christmas ornaments are decorations used to lighten a Christmas tree during the holiday season. They serve both decorative and sentimental purposes, showcasing the memories created throughout the year. To illustrate this concept better, let's explore some ideas on Etsy and check out some stores. When we enter Christmas into the Etsy search bar, you'll notice that people are already searching for a variety of Christmas-related items. One of the top searches is Christmas ornament, and the search volume has significantly increased compared to previous months. I use a Chrome extension and a search tool called Everbee for in-depth analysis to understand what products to sell and what to avoid. Let's click on Christmas to explore further. I'll use the FRB extension right here. I'll select Product Analytics from the options. When I click on it, it will fetch data from the first page. It will provide me with various insights to help me decide which ornaments are selling well and where our focus should be. I'll sort the data by monthly revenue. You can see some items like Baby's First Christmas, Personalized Christmas, and 3D snowman ornaments performing well. These are worth considering. Let's start with a 3D Christmas ornament as an example. It has an attractive design that can be created quickly. Next, I'll show you another example. The Personalized Family Christmas Ornament, which has sold over 5,000 units. These are simple, personalized designs that I'll discuss later in this tutorial. Now, before we dive into designing, it's crucial to understand what to sell. Before we start designing, we need to brainstorm our own ideas based on what we found on Etsy. I'll ask ChatGPT to provide 10 design ideas for Christmas ornaments, and it will give us some descriptive information for each design. Now that we have our ideas and descriptions, let's move on to an AI tool for creating 3D images. We'll input the descriptions there. To do this, we'll use a tool like Imagine. I've pasted one of the prompts generated by ChatGPT. I'll generate others as well. I'll use a 10 by 9 aspect ratio for the images. You can adjust the stylization if needed. Once I hit enter, the tool will work its magic. While it's working, I'll input some other prompts, like one for a 3D Christmas snowman bursting out of a wall with a green and red background. Let's see what it comes up with. This generated a snow globe with a Christmas theme inside it. But we want standalone designs. You can modify the prompt accordingly. Let's take a look at the 3D snowman design that was generated, which looks really cool. Let's take a look at this. This is pretty neat, and you can observe this effect. You can also notice this effect if you're not a fan of this. For those using Midjourney for the first time, you can simply click the Revolve button, and it will generate a new image for you. I like this one, so I'll just make the third one larger, and then I'll create one more image. Before we use it, just type slash imagine. This time, we want to generate a Christmas village with a plastic texture, a red and green 3D background, and the same aspect ratio. While it's loading, let's see what we have. It looks really impressive. While it's loading, you can always click on the image, open it in the browser, right-click, and save it. But I'll show you a clever way to automate this entire process without having to do these steps for each image you create. This is a non-generating distance to a really cool one. Now that we have our images, let me show you how to automate this entirely. If you haven't heard about my Design This, it's a tool that helps you streamline your process and create work listings. It has many useful features. 
Let me quickly explain what we're trying to accomplish here. Once you sign into my designs, you'll be on your dashboard. What we want to do is create a folder to organize all our images from mid-journey. Just click on Home and then Folder. Name it Christmas and click Add a new folder. This will be the folder where we store our Christmas images. Once it's created, go to the Google Chrome extension and search for My Designs. My Designs recently launched a Chrome extension that allows you to import all your images from mid-journey, which is incredible. Once you install it, refresh your Mind Journey page, and you'll see a bar at the bottom of each image. Click on the gear icon because you need to connect your My Design account with your Mid Journey account. It will prompt you to link your accounts, so you'll need to input your My Designs token. Let me show you how to generate your token and link your account. In My Designs, click on Settings and then Auto Tokens. Here, you can name your token. For example, let's call it Test and click Generate Token. It will generate a number that you need to copy and paste into Mid Journey. Now back in Mid Journey, paste the token here and click Link Account. As soon as it's linked, that's it. You're all set to streamline your image creation process. So when we click on the drop-down menu, you'll see a Christmas ornament option. Just select that. Once you've done that, pick the slot where you want to place the image, select the main file and hit the upload button. The image will be automatically uploaded to your My Design folder without any fuss. Repeat this process for the same image if needed by choosing Ornament, Main File, and hitting Upload again. If you like the result, just say Done. You can do this for many images without leaving the same interface. Once your images are uploaded, let's go back to the My Design section. Here you'll see all the images, including the three we just uploaded, and they look great. From My Designs, you have various options to prepare these images for mockups. For instance, you can select all the images, especially if they are not of the best quality, and you want to enhance them. Click on Actions and then Upscale Image. Choose the main file you want to enhance. Select the desired size and click Upscale Image. Confirm and continue, and it will start enhancing the images, even if you have many of them. This is why I find this design tool so convenient. Once it's done, you'll have an enhanced version of the image alongside the original. If you're not satisfied with the results, you can use another upscaling tool. But keep in mind it will be a manual, one-by-one -one process. Now, assuming you want to use the images as they are without removing the background, the next step would be to resize them to fit the Christmas ornament mock-ups in your designs. To do this, go to Actions again and select Resize Image. Then, navigate to the canvas and choose a suitable template, ensuring it fits the ornament. Adjust the image placement accordingly. Remember, it's crucial that the upscaled image is clear enough. If the PPI, pixels per inch, is dropping, you may need to enhance it outside of this tool and then bring it back in. Once the image is properly placed and resized, the next step would be to apply these changes to all the other images in the same folder. Just click Sync. I need to do this for all the images, so let's add them one by one. Once you're finished, you can choose between PNG or JPEG. We'll use PNG and click to add a new image to the slot. You can already see this is a cropped email. Now that we've resized our images, we can remove the background if necessary. Next, we'll create block mockups. To do this, go to mockups and click on Generate Image Mockup. You can generate both images and videos, but we'll focus on images. Choose Other to see various ornaments. You can select multiple mockups at once. Let's start with one. Click on it and then generate a preview. It looks like the resized one. Let's choose several more mockups, the green background and maybe another. After selecting them, choose the image and make sure it's PNG. Click Generate Mockup and let it process. Now that we have created our mockups, the next step is bulk editing. You can edit them individually or all at once. It's recommended to edit them one by one for proper titles, descriptions, and tags. For example, type Christmas ornament in the title. You can fill in the description and tags accordingly. In the inventory and pricing section, set the price to $4 and quantity to $888. You can do this individually or use the bulk edit option under Actions. Finally, click on Publish. If your Etsy store is linked, select whether it's a digital or physical product. Since it's a PNG, no conversion is needed. Choose the slot containing the file you want to sell, such as Mockup 2. Then, select your store and category, like Drawing and Illustration. Hit Next. 
Choose the mockups you want to use and unselect the main image. This will be your primary image. The next step is to click Next. Ensure that your title and everything else looks great. After that's done, click Next again. This will prompt you to double check your listings to ensure everything is okay. It might ask you to input values if you left some fields empty. You can fill in those values, then hit Publish. This will immediately send the item to your Etsy store. You can double check it and then publish it. This process is quite straightforward and can all be done within one tool without needing to switch between multiple places. The example I just showed is for creating 3D Christmas ornaments, which are essentially digital products. You're not sending physical ornaments to the customers. Instead, you're creating PNG files that customers can download and print on their own ornaments. People who want to create ornaments can buy these files from you. However, if you're interested in creating a personalized ornament for your store instead of digital products like a print-on-demand product, I'll quickly show you how to do that using Canva. To create a personalized ornament in Canva, start by creating a design. Choose a custom size, for example, 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels and click Create New Design. Then, you can find Christmas themed graphics to use for your design. You can find these on Creative Fabrica, which offers 10 free graphic bundles. Download the graphics you like and then upload them to Canva. Once your graphics are uploaded, you can start designing your ornament. For example, let's say you want to create a baby's first Christmas ornament. You can search for a template you like by typing Best Christmas in the Canva search bar. Choose a template and customize it by adding or removing elements. You can also change the date on the ornament to suit the customer's needs. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can save it and use it to create personalized ornaments for your store. This process allows you to offer printed on demand products instead of digital downloads. All right, so here's what you can do. First, select everything and group it together. If you want, I can just make a small adjustment to this. It's already looking good in just a few seconds. The next step is to click on Share Download and make sure you select Transparent Background when downloading. Once you've done that, simply hit the Download button and it will save to your computer. Then, you can take it back to My Designs and follow the same process I showed you. If a customer makes a request or a purchase, you'll need to come back to this file you've created in Converge, make the necessary changes, and if you're selling print-on-demand products, it'll be linked to your print provider. If you're not familiar with Print On Demand, I also have a video explaining it, so you can check that out. After making the changes, you'll fulfill the order manually. And your chosen print provider, like Printify, will print, package, and ship the items to your customers. Now, for the digital approach, you'll need a research tool. You can use FB, which has three plans to choose from. If you need more analytics, the Pro Plan is recommended. Midearney also has subscription options, ranging from the lowest to the highest. You can start with the lowest, which is $10 a month. When opening your Etsy store, you can do it for free, but they charge you 20 cents for each listing. To automate the entire process, I use My Designs, which also offers a free plan. It allows you to create 24 listings in bulk at a time. But if you want to publish more like up to 400 listings per day, you'll need the Pro Plan. I use this plan because it helps me process my listings quickly. You can choose the plan that suits you best. If you're interested in creating personalized designs for print on demand, you can use Canva, which offers a free account. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want more awesome content like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. What kind of content do you want to see next? Any questions or suggestions? Drop them down in the comments section below. Remember, sharing is caring. So if you know someone who could benefit from this video, don't hesitate to share it with them. Together, we can make this community grow and thrive. Stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way. And until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and keep being awesome. This has been the Digital Wealth Hive, and remember to be wealthy. Bye.